All right, Megan, thank you for that. Residents of San Diego County's District 4 are voting for their county supervisor in a special election to replace Nathan Fletcher. Monica Montgomery Stepp is a candidate, and she joins us now. We appreciate you coming in, Monica. We appreciate it so much. Yes, thank you so much for having uh, me. Let's talk a little bit about what you bring to the table that your opponent, Amy Reichert, does not. Absolutely. So I have served as a council member representing over 160,000 people in southeastern San Diego District 4 um, for five years now. And it has brought really a wealth of experience as far as understanding how bureaucracies work, how we can integrate community voice into our systems and make true change that is very thoughtful and that is well-rounded. So there's, a, there's quite a bit. I've served on quite a bit of regional committees. And, and have had county impact doing that. Um, so this this is a hard job. These are really, really hard jobs, especially at a time like this where we are post-pandemic. We're facing a lot of things uh, locally, nationally, internationally. And I think the experience that I bring, not only uh, serving as an elected official, but also as an attorney, will really help in this seat. What do you think has worked on the city level that you've worked on or maybe hasn't worked that you, know, you can now take that experience to the county level? Yeah, well, learning the systems is very, very important because if we are going to integrate um, community voice and also just take into consideration the things that are really impacting the quality of life of our constituents, then we have to know the system in which we're working in. So that really has been successful. We have worked on a lot of different things with law enforcement. We have worked on first time homebuyer programs uh, for community members. Um, I have brought over a hundred million dollars of investment into southeastern San Diego over the last five years that has really worked and it is really revitalizing our community. And so those are the things that I, I, I really want to want to bring. I just want to broaden this approach to government. It is not easy mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes we we absolutely uh, have to try again uh, but I'm willing to do that for this region. You know it certainly isn't easy but there are a lot of issues that we're facing. Uh, we just reported that San Diego is the most expensive city to live in. Um, how do you handle you know the, the you know people can't afford to live in the homes here yeah. and we're dealing with a a crisis in homelessness. Yeah, the, taking a very holistic approach to uh, this crisis is what I plan to do. There's everything from rent subsidies that we can do, particularly for our senior population um, that is really, really struggling and falling into homelessness even more. We have to build more affordable units that people can afford, certainly. We have to increase wages so that people can afford to live here. Um, there are also some things that are uh, being done in LA County right now, like uh, rent stabilization that I just want to take a look at. I, I want to make sure that we keep everything on the table because we are the most expensive city to live in in the nation. Mm -hmm. um, we have people that are serving us in, in, that, in their capacities, in their professional capacities. They cannot live here. Um, mm -hmm. That is not going to be healthy for us at all. So I think everything needs to be on the table at this point. Oh, you know, you had the primary and you and Amy both finished in the top two. Is there anything you learned from that process? I asked her the same question yesterday that maybe you heard from potential constituents who spoke out and say, I want you to work on this or I would vote for you if that. Anything that you've, you've brought from that part of the election process? Yeah, I mean, the, the top thing that we hear has been consistent. It's, it's housing and homelessness. Uh, those are the two things that we hear about the most. You know, folks are really interested in their quality of life. Uh, here in San Diego and certainly uh, we take that into consideration every day. Um, the constituency work that we have done in the City Council District 4 certainly reflects that and reflects that we care about our constituents and what they believe. Um, but this has been, those themes have been consistent in uh, my is, last five years Is there years any like, office. you know, one thing that you have like, I can do this and it's going to help the housing situation or I can do that and it's going to help the homelessness situation? Well, here's the thing about government, like the, we're not in this situation right now because of one thing. Thing. So we have to look at these things holistically. Of course, uh, immediately, we can provide rent subsidies for people who are $500 a month away from being homeless. We can do that, and we have uh, philanthropic efforts along with government that is willing and ready to do that. We have two pilot programs, both at the county and the city, that is doing that already that we could put more money into to increase those things. But that's, we don't want to play whack-a-mole here. Mm -hmm.
and, and, and we so we can't look at one issue we have to look at them all but certainly rent subsidies is something that we can do quick and something that will help a lot of people all right Monica Montgomery Sepp thank you for coming in today thank you so much thank you we appreciate it